Good afternoon. I'm Dr. Josh. I'm Dr. Christina. And welcome to Crossroads Chiropractic Facebook Live. Yes. And today, because uh, we've been off, we've kind of been off. For a while. Well, yes. you know, Over the we Christmas were holidays, for two weeks. Two weeks, yeah, for the two holidays. We had one two <laughs> weeks ago, then just with all the poor weather and that, it's been hard getting back on track. So we're getting back on track with our videos, just so <laughs> all our fans, you guys are going <laughs> to... All our... All yeah. our one Hardcore fan. followers. Our one core followers. <laughs> we're getting back at it. So today what we're going to be talking about is, is uh, proper posture and proper use of smartphones and technology uh, to basically be safe for your spine. Because mm -hmm. most of us are walking around with these stupid things in our pockets, on tables, and we're always looking at them, right? And so we want to make sure that we give you some tips on how to do it properly so you're not getting... So you're not straining neck, your neck, right? not straining your back. Exactly. You don't want to screw up your posture exactly. because of all this repetitive strain. <laughs> exactly. Now, one thing we are finding, and this is the thing that um, that is actually becoming more and more prominent in our society, is because people are, are constantly on their phones like that, mm -hmm. um, we're actually starting to see people develop uh, degenerative changes in the spine, arthritis, uh, disc degeneration, massive postural changes, mm -hmm. scoli uh, um, a kyphotic curve, straight necks, like you name it, we just start to see it. And I think a lot of it is the fact that we're always spending on our on our phones like this. So yeah. that may not be the cause, but it's definitely not helping. So no, definitely not helping. So the first thing we're talking about is mm -hmm. you go for it. Well, I've got uh, reading in bed. So I know a lot of my students do this. Um, they look at their phones, they look at their tablets, they look at their laptops, and they're in bed while they're doing it, and they don't have proper posture whatsoever, <laughs> right? Because you're scrunched down, hunched over, so what you want to do is, if you have to sit in your bed, you want to make sure that you have support for your head and your neck, so you actually don't want to just support your shoulders, you actually want to scoot down and make sure you have enough pillows behind you so you're, you can relax your head and neck. Mm -hmm. Because if you're like this, forcing forward, that's gonna create a lot of issues, right? Mm -hmm. And also, you wanna make sure that you're keeping your devices at eye level as much as possible. So you wanna have a pillow, you wanna bend your knees up, you wanna have a pillow, and then have your laptop or device or hold your things like this, mm -hmm. right? So it's right in front of you at eye level. So you don't want to be looking down all the time or hunched over on your laptops and things like that. Yeah, I'll, 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 the best actually uh, suggestion would be to make sure you have like, if you have a case that has a handle or, or a support mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. you can support on like maybe like one of those uh, those um, hard um, uh, bed desks that you can. Oh yeah, so the, the you, lap desk. So the lap desk so you can actually keep it there without actually keeping your hands up. Because even after a while, having your hands up, mm -hmm. that does put a lot of strain on the neck and the shoulders and that. So yeah. Um, yeah. The next big thing really is to um, make sure you move your position, you change your positions, right? Yes, so absolutely. the key is, and for most of us, we're stuck, you know, in a sitting job, or you have to be in bed, you're reading, you're studying, or as a student, you're sitting, writing, reading yourself. Yeah. You need to be changing your position consistently, right? Because that's usually what causes the repetitive damage mm -hmm. is just sitting there for two hours, yeah. right? It's a common misconception too that you know, you should stay in a perfect static position while mm -hmm. you're working yeah. on a desk or while yeah. you're reading or whatever because, oh, I have to hold this proper posture. But that's not the case at all because that's going to cause issues as well yeah. uh, because you're holding things in a, in a static position and you're mm -hmm. not moving the spine. Movement, you have to move. You have Absolutely. to get the blood flow. You have to get the, you know, uh, things the moving. So, yeah. yeah. Now, if you are sitting at a desk, do you want to make sure almost very similar to how you are lying in your bed? Get, uh, propping uh, the, the technology up, the computer up. I always recommend for my students, if they're on a laptop, to take a couple textbooks. Put the textbooks underneath the laptop so the laptop's higher up. So when you're sitting, you're sitting actually looking at it straight instead of looking yeah. down at the, at the computer screen itself. Mm -hmm. uh, super, super helpful. Um, and constantly getting up. I mean, that's the, that's the yeah, biggest yeah. thing. Really. And when you're reading, like for me as a student, I needed to have my textbook in an elevated position that's gonna save you so much because when you're crunched over looking down highlighting or taking notes that sucks for your yeah. mid back your yeah. neck make sure your textbooks are vertical get one of those cookbook stands so you can mm -hmm. get them up another tip that I always give and it's actually not technology as far as for your eyes but for the for your legs um, we don't have phone books anymore but get like a box so that you can actually step on it and keep your feet mm. up so that you can change your foot positions too as well. So not only just your neck position, yeah. but if you're changing, like say you are stuck at a desk and you have to look at a computer screen or say you're studying for an exam mm. and you're like, man, I gotta get this done in two hours and I have seven hours of work to do and you don't have the luxury to get up to move, 
at least if you put something on the ground where you can put your foot on it and change it periodically, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's at least giving you some mobility, helping the lymphatics drain and all that kind of stuff and get things moving. So yeah, yeah which is another great tip. That's it. Awesome. That was all I had. That's all you have. Well, the reality <laughs> is, is technically we really should not be on these no. things as often as we are, really. Yeah. And, it's, and it's amazing how technology has become such a part of our life, right? Mm -hmm. Like we use it for like our videos to get out and, and, and basically share, you know, proper health and our information yeah. with you guys and all the rest. But really, the best information is talking <laughs> to someone physically so physically in person physically face face. in person so that's a challenge for you guys if is to if you want more information come talk to us physically yeah come exactly to this come office in the office and we'll talk sit down to and we'll talk to you <laughs> face to face so awesome uh that's all we got for today yeah if you like the video please share it uh share it with everybody that you know <laughs> like 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 um so uh, follow us on YouTube. Mm -hmm. You can check out our webpage, www.crosschiro.ca. And, and Instagram. And Instagram. Yeah. Yes, which is awesome. chiropractic. Yes, exactly. On we're Instagram. Gonna be, and yeah. we're going to post another picture tonight. I got yeah, a great picture are. from the yeah. office this afternoon. <laughs> and um, yeah, thanks so much for watching. I'm Dr. Josh. I'm Dr. Christina. All right, talk to you later. Have a great Bye, week. Bye, guys. Bye.